what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel we have this interesting question that says that find all values of x that satisfies x to the power of 8 minus x squared all over x to the power of 4 minus x squared equal to 9. well our first step is for us to factor out x squared from the numerator since it is common so we factor out x squared now open bracket x to power 8 divided by x squared is x to power 6 minus x squared divided by x squared is 1 all over now the denominator x squared is also common so we can factor out x squared open bracket x to power 4 divided by x squared is x squared and then minus x squared divided by x squared is 1 and this is equal to 9 well the expression on the left is only possible when x is not equal to 0 and if x is not equal to 0 that means x squared can cancel out x squared from here leaving behind x to the power 6 minus 1 all over x squared minus 1 equal to 9 now notice that x to the power 6 minus 1 is not random it is difference of squares which can be expressed as x squared minus 1 times x to the power 4 plus x to the power 2 plus 1 all over the denominator we have x squared minus 1 and this is equal to 9 now notice that x squared minus 1 will cancel out leaving behind x to the power 4 plus x to the power 2 plus 1 equal to 9 now we can decide to move 9 to the left hand side so that we have x to the power 4 plus x squared plus 1 and as 9 crosses it becomes minus 9 and this is now equal to 0 now reducing our equation to be x to the power 4 plus x squared now 1 minus 9 is minus 8 equal to 0 very good now simplifying further x to the power 4 can also be written as x squared or raised to the power of 2 plus this is x squared minus 8 equal to 0 so this is where we introduce substitution by saying that let this expression which is x squared be equal to u so rewriting we have u squared so u squared plus u minus 8 equal to 0 very good now we're going to be using the quadratic formula to solve this our a from here is 1 our b is also 1 while our c is negative 8 so looking for the values of u which is 1 and 2 will be equal to we have minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a and then substituting we have the value of u to be equal to negative b so that will be negative 1 plus or minus the square root of b squared that is 1 squared minus 4 times a times c so 4 times a times c c is negative 8 all over 2 times a that is 2 times 1 so making the value of u to be equal to negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 squared is 1 now negative times negative is positive 4 times 8 is 32 all over 2 times 1 that is 2 so this becomes u equal to negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 plus 32 is 33 all over 2 so there are actually two values of u from here of which one of them is negative 1 plus the square root of 33 all over 2 while the other one is 
negative 1 minus the square root of 33 all over 2. Very good. Now, we're going to take these values of u and put them here to get the values of x, which the question requires us to find. So, I'm going to be recalling that here. So, recall that we said let x squared be equal to u. So, let's start with the first. When u is equal to negative 1 plus the square root of 33 all over 2. Let's put that here. So, this becomes x squared equal to u. u here is negative 1 plus the square root of 33 all over 2. Now, to get the value of x, we're going to take the square root of both sides. So, I'll take the square root of the left-hand side equal to plus or minus the square root of the right-hand side, which is negative 1 plus the square root of 33 all over 2. Now, notice that this square root cancels out the square, leaving behind x to be equal to plus or minus the square root of negative 1 plus the square root of 33 all over 2. Now, there are two values of x from here. So, two values of x altogether. Now, this time, let's say when u is equal to negative 1 minus the square root of 33 all over 2. Well, we can substitute here. So, we have x squared to be equal to u. u is negative 1 minus the square root of 33 all over 2. Well, this expression is same as writing. I'm going to be factoring out negative from here. So, factor out negative. Open bracket. 1 plus the square root of 33 all over 2. That is it. So, when I take the square root of both sides to get rid of this square, we're going to have something like this. So, this will be equal to plus or minus the square root of negative 1 plus the square root of 33 all over 2. Very good. So, here you see that the square root cancels out the square, leaving behind x to be equal to plus or minus. Now, because of this negative we have here, we're going to be having i outside. Very good. Now, the square root of 1 plus the square root of 33 all over 2. So, this is complex solution where there are two values of x from here, which is going to be the third and fourth values. So, we have two complex solutions and two real solutions. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.